and say, another one yes, bites the dust. Exactly. <laughs> Victory Monday around here. Good morning, John. Jansen sitting across from me. Jim Costa in for Stoney. Heather Park joining us as well. Greg Hargrave. Here we are, Victory Monday for the Lions. John, you have a good weekend. I did. I did. It was a busy weekend as it weekend. The weekend before Christmas is going to be busy, but I am so happy that I had a chance to watch yesterday's game. Uh, didn't know that I was really, I wasn't going to pay a whole lot of attention to it other than watching the highlights or what was I was expecting was the lowlights for today's show. But uh, the Lions... What dare I say? Dominated? No doubter. When's the last time you sat down and watched a Lions football game and had a low stress fourth quarter? The game was in the bag. This thing's under wraps. I don't know yesterday that I was uh, at any point until the very end of the game was thinking that it was a no doubter. They're up three scores in the fourth. I, I, okay. And I just kept thinking. All right, how, how, how can the Lions creatively lose this game? Here comes Kyler Murray. And it was it was awesome. It was fun to watch. Happy for, for Dan Campbell, happy for the guys. It just was a great performance. They came out, they saw, they kicked tail, and it was just a good Sunday for, uh, for the Lions and at Ford Field. It was <laughs> special. It was a victory Monday because you had the Lions win, you had the Pistons snap their 14-game losing streak, and you had the Red Wings win on Saturday, Dylan Larkin Hattrick. So we come in victory Monday today, everybody with a victory this weekend. Yeah. I mean, the last time we did this, it was uh, uh, Michigan had won, and, and there was a whole bunch of wins, and uh, I think it, it just was... When you have a weekend like that where you have, especially for the pro sports teams, to be victorious, it it does change the way Monday is, and it sets the tone for this holiday week. That's right. Christmas is this week. Uh, yes, Christmas will be uh, Saturday, Christmas Eve on Friday. We're going to be here all week. Uh, Mr. Costa, Jimmy Cookies, is, as I, I, how did you come up with that nickname? I, I didn't come never... up. Do you not know this story? I feel like I've told no. this story a million times. I didn't come up with this story. I... I well, you, nobody ever gives themselves a nickname. You can't give yourself a nickname. So I was in the... Uh, Alice Iverson did. The answer. <laughs> um, I, I was doing some shows over the summer. I did one with Gator, and I brought up my neighbor. I think I've told you this. My neighbor had mowed my lawn a couple times. Oh, yes, yes. And I, yes. I got him some cookies, and I think Melanie thought it was the most wholesome thing in the world. So oh, he started calling Jimmy Jimmy cookies, cookies, and then okay. Roberto gets going and makes a song, and then you know, it spreads. Yep. Okay. There you I go. Now. All right. I just didn't, uh, I, I didn't understand that that was the impetus for, uh, for this. Heather, are you all done with your Christmas shopping? I am officially all done and wrapped, and they're under the tree, and it's a beautiful wow. thing. Yes, I finished this weekend. Wow. I mean, I, I'm not moving very quickly these days, so I figured I better finish now or it may never get done. I was just going to say, you don't want to be the pregnant woman who's like days away from giving birth, and you're strolling <laughs> through Somerset, just, hey, let's... Let's see if these... Yeah. No, you don't want to be that person. No, I don't. No, I don't. So, no, I'm all done. It's awesome. Uh, I think I might have been the first one to start Christmas shopping. Um, and I may also be the last one to finish because it just uh, it just didn't happen. So, how close are you getting? Um, I would say half. Half? Yeah. You're halfway done. Halfway done. <laughs> John, you got a couple days. You got five days, really four days. You got to have it under the tree Christmas Eve. You are down to the wire. No problem. Not a problem. No sweat. At all. No sweat. No sweat. I don't do. Uh, I like to be able to uh, like feel things and actually you know look at things in the size. So I will be. Uh, I will be in the malls. I will be in the stores. I will be battling for a parking space. I kind of picture you like you'll be like a correspondent from the mall. Like we're going to check in each day with yes. you and you're going to go, ah, it's mayhem and bloodshed yes. today at yes. the mall as yes. four were found dead in a J.C. Penney's. I mean, yes. Good luck this week. Yeah, good luck finding a J.C. Penney's. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they store the bodies. Mm -hmm. hey, John, we, we, re <laughs> we referenced uh, Victory Monday. How about this stat for you? Lions and Pistons went on the same day. For the first time since when? Uh, 
it's got to be a few years. 2017. Um, 2017. A few years nailed it. A few years. The last time they both beat a team above 500 on the same day. Above 500. Yeah, like the Miami um, Heat were above 500. The Cardinals, everybody knows, 10-win football team. I'm going to guess uh, a few more years. Let's just throw out a number 2008. Close. 2010, the last time the Pistons and the Lions each won over a team with a winning record. John, you just guessed 2008. We're a Lions team. <laughs> The Lions did not win a game, John. Right. <laughs> yes. Well, I was just, like I said, I threw out a you number. Ballpark. Yes, that's ballpark. Okay. Yes. Well, you're ballpark. Okay, you're going to have to go. I thought that was human. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to go way back for this one. And, and full credit, this is from Austin Drake. Ballast Last Austin time Michigan Drake. lost to Ohio State. Yeah, 97? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. I'm sorry, Jim. I got to cut you. No, uh, you're good. We love the humor. Okay, and this is full credit to Austin Drake. He's with Bally Sports, the producer. He does a lot.